you're in the kitchen with a dietitian. I'm your host, Amanda, and this is episode three in a series on diabetes and nutrition. If you missed the first two, I'll include the links down below in the description box where I covered what do I eat when I have diabetes and how much do I eat? Now today, what we're going to talk about is how to read a nutrition label and what to focus on specifically when you have diabetes. So let's get started. When you're looking at a nutrition label, you actually wanna focus on total carbohydrate. Now, a lot of people's first impulse is to look at sugars because you think, well, sugars raise the blood sugar, right? Which is true, but believe it or not, the sugars are included in the total carbohydrate. And the reason why you want to focus on total carbohydrate is that carbohydrates break down into sugar. So if you imagine a pearl necklace being a carbohydrate, every pearl on that necklace represents a sugar. So when you eat something with carbohydrate, it's like that pearl necklace. And in digestion, your body breaks down the connections between the pearls or the sugars. And so each one of those sugars is absorbed and it goes into your bloodstream and it raises your blood sugar. So the more carbohydrate that you eat, the higher your blood sugar goes. Now remember, the sugars on the nutrition label are included in the total carbohydrate. Carbohydrates include sugars. They also include starches and fiber. Guess what? Only the starches and sugars actually raise your blood sugar. The fiber does not. In this case, we're looking at a nutrition label for waffles, frozen waffles. So in a serving size of two waffles, you have 34 grams of carbohydrate and there is one gram of fiber. So this one gram of fiber is already included in the 34 grams of carbohydrate. Since it does not break down into sugar, you can actually subtract that one gram from the 34 grams. So that's 33 grams of carbs that actually raise your blood sugar. Now also, this one gram of sugar is already included in the 34 grams. So you don't have to worry about that. Again, the most important thing to focus on when you have diabetes and you're looking at a nutrition label is at the total carbohydrate. Now, of course, always check the serving size because this is the portion that contains this amount of carbohydrate. This is a nutrition label for spaghetti. And this spaghetti could advertise that it's sugar-free because you'll notice that it contains zero grams of sugar. So sugar-free does not mean carbohydrate-free. So be very, very careful with that. When you see sugar-free cookies, sugar-free cake, it does not mean that it won't raise your blood sugar. It simply means it does not contain sugars. Remember that the starches in carbohydrates also raise your blood sugar. And you can tell that this pasta contains quite a bit of starch because one sixth of the box contains 44 grams of carbs. So despite the fact that it does not contain sugars, it still will raise your blood sugar because those carbs are going to break down into sugar in the body. Now this spaghetti has two grams of fiber in the one sixth of the box. So you can, again, subtract those two grams from the 44 grams of carbs. And that means that 42 grams of carbs from this one sixth of the box portion will raise your blood sugar. To give that a little bit of context, the average adult needs about 45 to 60 grams of carbs per meal. So with the pasta alone, you're already there at the lower limit. Now the good news is the tomato sauce typically doesn't have carbs if it's strictly made with vegetables. And then the ground beef that you use to make the meat sauce does not contain any carbs either. So just be mindful of that as you are striving to reach your blood glucose goals, always focus on the total carbohydrate and write it down. Keep track of how many carbs that you're taking in because this is what is going to impact your blood sugar. Remember, the most important 
aspects to focus on the nutrition label when you have diabetes are first of all, the serving size at the very top of the nutrition label so you know what portion nutrition facts are referencing. So if it's one slice of bread or two slices of bread or 10 crackers or five cookies, that is the portion that you're then seeing the amount of carbohydrate for. So look at the serving size, then look at the total carbohydrate, and remember you can subtract any dietary fiber from the total carbohydrate to find out how much of the carbohydrate will actually raise your blood sugar. And remember, the sugars are already included in the total carbohydrate. Tune in next week and we'll be discussing how many carbs are in typical restaurant meals that you might eat. Subscribe to my channel so that you can get updates on when my latest video is posted. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave me a comment and let me know what you learned. I love to hear from you and I'll see you right here next week in the kitchen with the dietitian.